So here it is, Authentico Spiral Dough Mixer. To begin, I'm not being paid for this review. I bought it with my own money and this is going to be my honest review. I don't have a lot of experience using this type of dough machine. In the past I've always used the KitchenAid so I can't really compare it to anything. I scoured the internet looking for an affordable countertop spiral dough mixer. I wanted one that was lightweight, small bowl size, variable speed motor, and most of all affordable. So let's get into it. So it came packed in this box, cardboard box, but you can see during the shipping process, the box itself is taking some hits. When I initially When I initially opened the box, these corner protectors had fallen away from the corners and were down on the side. These small styrofoam plates put in the box to help protect it had fallen down also. So it didn't offer a lot of protection. I think that the packing was lacking uh, the manufacturer probably could have done a better job on it when I bought KitchenAid mixer here in the States it comes ensconced in styrofoam when you're paying quite a bit of money for something you want it to arrive in perfect condition you want to be able to plug it in and have it go you don't want to have any dents on it or submit a warranty claim right away or even ship it back for a new one you're excited about getting this and you just want to plug it in clean it up and get it to use right away so now let's talk about the features according to the website it's 10 and a quarter inches wide it's 21 and a quarter inches long and 15 and approximately a third inch high it does fit perfectly for me on the counter the stainless steel bowl capacity is approximately 7.4 quarts. Perfect for me. The bowl is not removable. It does take about five minutes to clean it out when you're done. Gross weight is approximately 66 pounds. The lighter of this type of mixer that I was able to find. Now let's discuss the control panel. You have your start and your stop button. Also hold the stop button for three seconds and it will reverse the bowl rotation. Stop the machine, select the on button again and it will return to clockwise rotation. Timer. It will go up to 30 minutes. The machine won't turn on unless you rotate the timer or select the hand position. Variable speed knob. Controls the speed of the motor. Very good for high hydration dose. It has these adjustable rubber feet. So you can, you rotate it or you screw it in, you screw it out. And it also gives you space to put your fingers underneath and pick it up. Let's talk about the safety features. You have your bowl side guards here so that you can't get your fingers caught in there while the bowl's rotating or little children can't stick their finger in there and get their hands caught or anything like that. The protective grid here, when it's up, the machine won't operate. It needs to be in the down position for the machine to operate. So I did try this out for the first time, making some dough. And for me, without having any experience, it performed very well. The gluten structure of the dough to me was way better than I could get it as if I had kneaded the dough by hand. So the pizzas came out nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of them because they were eating too fast. Back to the mixer. For me, this fits the bill. On Amazon, I found similar spiral mixers that were less expensive, were heavier, the bowl was larger than I was looking for, single speed motors, comparable features on other units was just a lot more money. So I think that the packing needs to be addressed. Other than that, I don't have anything bad to say about this mixer. 
Please leave any comments below. Also, I will leave links below to the mixer and uh, courses that I took on how to make pizza. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.